Ultra Weekly. Oh, I see a lot of Immortal Shards, please. <gasps> hey, what's up, guys? Flurpolder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Skybounds. Today, I do want to look over this guide to Skybounds because it was a new thing that was added last Friday in an update, and um, just want to see what it has generally because there are some new things that I don't know. So I want to see if any of that is in here. Maybe it'll help us out, or you guys might get some help from it if you're new to Skybounds, or if you haven't played Skybounds, you can see this guide and be like, oh well, this is kind of cool. I kind of want to check this server out, and uh, if you do want to check the server out and you haven't yet. Drop your IGN below, and I will uh, refer you to it, and then, uh, and get those easy refer points, not gonna lie, it's, it's easy, easy refer points, and get rewards and stuff, it's pretty cool. Anyways, so, uh, here is a Skybound's guide, playing and thriving. First off, welcome to Skybounds. This book will serve as a guide throughout your adventures here. It'll automatically update as you level up, and can be spawned at any time using slash guide. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know that they actually updated it. I thought it was just like a one-time thing, like, you know, a general guy, but that's neat. All right, your island. Generate an island using IS New. You can travel to it at any time with IS Go. Everything you do in Skybounds will be on your island. To be fair, that's kind of true, but kind of not. Everything you do on your on Skybounds will be on your island. That's, I mean, you go out into the wars. I mean, generally, it, it centers, uh, centers around a form of island. Either your island, a friend's island, or something like that. However, not everything you do will be on your island. There's also the war zone, which you'll be out doing things as well. Or you can avoid it and just go strictly to um, your island and do stuff. Anyways. Earn challenge XP by completing challenges and general tasks on Skybounds. Type slash CHT to overview your current challenges. You can also just do, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You can do, I haven't actually seen like uh, CHT. Okay, well, I mean, you can just do CH and it'll pull up the same exact menu. Save yourself an extra space in the letter. And uh, a little quick overview of this menu. So you've got your XP up here. It shows you um, how much level you're at, how much XP you need to the next level. Uh, it shows you any XP boosters you have. Since I have a rank, technically I'm Savage rank or equivalent to Savage rank, I have a 1.5 permanent booster. There's also global boosters that people can throw on and stuff like that as well. You have your rewards, which is your refer rewards, which I don't think this actually does anything. It just tells you how to get to that. Um, here's your challenges, like I have your campaign challenges, you can also get a second kind of like campaign, sub-campaign technically, which is I'm currently brewing, there's also enchanting, uh, there's the vault bank one, which you can get a slash vault command, I'll go into that probably later. Um, daily challenges, which refresh every day, see mine will refresh in one hour, you can also re-roll one of them, which... If I was going to re-roll one, I'd probably re-roll this one because I can't actually do this one. Because Well, I could, but I don't want to. Um, this one I can do. This one I'm going to keep, but I don't think I'll be able to do it in an hour, so I guess it doesn't entirely matter. All of these are really whatever. They're going to refresh in an hour, so I kind of wasted that because I wasn't going to be able to do these anyways. Moving on, there's also a challenge selector once you hit, I think, 25, you can select different challenges to redo again. Like, I could kill 100 spiders again for easy XP, and then in an hour, I could select another one of these challenges, or one of these other ones. It's uh, pretty cool, honestly. There's bonus XP for um, alchemy, enchanting, salvaging, sorcery, brewing. You'll probably learn that throughout Skybound, stuff like that. PvP-related things, stuff like that. It's, that's pretty much the basis of that menu. Hang on, let me get this stupid freaking... Yeah, there we go. We got rid of it. Anyways, there's also competitions, which are like every, like daily, they have different competitions for different things you can do. They're pretty hard to actually win, but pretty cool. Anyways, we're on page five now. Well, yeah, five. Uh, you don't have to play solo. Use slash is invite to add friends to your island. Yes, you can add friends to your island, which is a pretty cool thing, honestly. Moving on, there is also page number six. The market allows you to buy and sell items from NPCs and players. Visit the market by accessing its portal from slash spawn. If you have my rank, or I believe it's Sabbath. Whoops. Oh, you can teleport to the market. I did not actually know that. I did not even mean to teleport here. Well, we're at the market. You can see there's all kinds of cool things. 
there's a bunch of things. They're, each market is different per uh, s server islands, like you know, Steampunk, TFI, uh, Beta, or not Beta, um, Magic, stuff like that. But of course, I have a slash, uh, slash shop command, which I can access every single shop right here. Anyways, let's uh, go back to our island. We're gonna go IS Warp Tower again, and uh, let's let's just go back to page five. So there's the no, there's the shop, the auction. Com uh, yeah, there's an auction house which you can throw items in there, and people can throw items in there. And um, yeah, you can basically just sell things at your own prices and stuff like that. I'm not gonna really read over some of these. I'm just gonna give my own general description. I'll probably show it off. I've shown it off in several videos as well. Daily challenges we went over, bonus XP we went over, kind of. Um, mining world. Mining world is pretty cool. You can go in, you go into the pickaxe. It's kind of like a MMO type of thing. Or what, an MMORPG, I think it would be? I don't know. It, it, you level up, that's the point. Which you level up on this too. You level up, get skill points by mining things, and then you can mine more things, and then you can kill people. It's It's got different skill trees. It's pretty cool. Honestly, it would be worth checking out. I'm not going to go over in depth a lot of these. The arena, there's mob arena, brawl arena, you can 1v1 people, you can go against mobs and get different, like, reward, XP, stuff like that. Or seeds and farms. This is one I like. Now, there's different farms, obviously, you can do to make, uh, to make that good old cash, but the ore seeds is where it's at. If you actually come down here, well, if I'll come down here, when you go ahead and slash eat, we have, first of all, there's a mob grinder over there, which is technically a farm. As well as over here, we have some ore seeds set up. This is where I set up my emerald ones because emeralds I like to keep separate because I mine them differently than I mine every other ore. The other ores like iron, gold, diamonds, I'm not too bothered about making like the maximum profit off of them because they're just whatever. Even if even maximum profit's not that much, I don't really care too much about them. They're kind of like the ones that I casually get. Uh, and while I'm actually sitting here, I'm gonna quickly check the auction house. If you slash HV, you can see it. Uh, there's some immortal shards in here, which are really good if you don't know. These are these are kits, which very good to get. Uh, sharp wand. Oh wait, that reminds me. My kit should. Yeah. Speaking of eye kits, there's one. But uh, yeah, you can get different things. I'm looking for more emerald ore seeds to be honest, because I like to place them here, fill this up, and then reserve every two to get some maximum profit. Basically, any smooth stone becomes whatever ore the seed is for anyways moving on to the next one we are currently at this one enchanting you are now able to complete the enchanting quest craft uh, yeah okay so we've already done this completion you are now available uh now available to wait comp all com competitions are not available to okay okay so yeah so the enchanting is it's different on this server let me go is or room if you guys haven't seen it quite yet let me go ahead and show you so here is the enchanting table you go into it you can place an item here like let's say i wanted to throw my pickaxe here now i can disenchant it i can take an enchant off like i say i wanted fortune four my best chance would be go for this if it fails i lose the book i keep the pickaxe then i can also um go to enchant which i just throw the enchant in there and it's, it's a guaranteed success if you already have the book so like if let's say there's this book, I wanted to throw it on armor, it's guaranteed success. But I can also upgrade the book by throwing arcane power on it. I'm going to go ahead and actually throw a little bit onto this. You can see it goes up in that. Once you get that up, you want to get the overpower level up. Um, because you want to get it to like a very high chance. And it's pretty much guaranteed, but still a chance of failing. Anyways, where are we at now? Competitions, which I'm not the best most intelligent on i haven't like tried any competitions i've seen them they're, they're pretty neat i've showed them off or showed uh the menu off vaults which are uh, you gotta go to the banker and uh, you can buy hang on let me slash vault you can get this you get you start off with one row and you can upgrade it with money and then you can buy more with like stars and it's pretty expensive but it's pretty cool you can also buy an ender chest which is how most players are supposed to do it but you know, I got those commands, so let me, uh, uh, we're on, like, what, page 60 now? Yeah, okay, upgrading vaults, yeah, you can upgrade them by spending stars, what else? Brewing, this one I haven't experienced yet, so I'll probably have to get into this in the future, but, uh, basically, you, uh, you get, you use a, a cauldron and you brew things with recipes, which I do have some recipes in that chest behind me as well, or in one of my chests your own shop you can also buy shopkeepers to sell your own items automatically the wizard sells shopkeeper eggs in the market so you can 
put down villagers basically give them skins they give them items to sell it's pretty neat i haven't messed with this yet but i do want to set up a form of a market something simple not sure what quite yet maybe i'll sell tank kits uh okay what's next challenge slots you can also upgrade your challenge slots after you hit level 12 or no, 20 but it's really expensive so you can get more than three per day to get that bonus xp it's really good i did this on tfi i didn't get them maxed out but it's really good if you want to do more challenges challenge selector i went into that bosses I have to be level 30 for this but we're almost there um bosses i do know about bosses so you can get these boss eggs from the war zone and you take them to the market left side of left side of it you put them down on this thing and people will sacrifice like gear and stuff like that to them and it'll it'll fill them up in in ore seeds gear and ore seeds and it'll fill up their uh meters once all three meters are finished the egg is charged you can spawn it with some friends and go kill it but it's dangerous well worth it though if you kill it um yeah I'll be doing that eventually. Challenge slots too. I don't know. Okay, so I'll have to wait till level three to actually see these. But uh, that's that's pretty much it for this. Let's go to my tower. Let's throw our book away. Our guide to Skybound. And I'm gonna go actually to slash I spawn because if you noticed, we have some things over here. We obviously have our kit, but first of all, we do have our weekly rewards and stuff. We're gonna get some quick bonus XP. And we do have our Ultra Weekly, Legend Weekly, and Savage Weekly. Let's go ahead, starting with our Ultra Weekly reward crate. Blessing up for something good. Maybe we'll get a uh, or seed box, which I'll be saving, of course. That one just had, like, it started to slow down there, but it had no chill. All right, Ultra Weekly. Oh, I see a lot of Immortal Shards, please. We actually got one. Yo! <laughs> no way! Hell yes! I'm so saving that though. I'm so like you know I'm saving that. Come on, two, two, two. Come on, please, please. No. Oh, one off. Oh, almost two, almost two. I'm gonna save this. I'm I'm not gonna even mess with this. Oh, uh, no, no, saving it for future video. I'm so saving that. All right, so we do have our tank kit in here as well, which I'm going to leave it. Oh, there's a super cookie in here. I'm going to leave this in here because I don't really want to move it. But I think that's where I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to move it as soon as I end this video, to be fair. But, um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to end it here. If you did, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Click that notification bell so you're notified every time I do upload or stream on the channel. Make sure to check out my Twitter, Discord, all the other links down in the description below. And uh, keep up to date on things like that, chat, hang out, and maybe join in on uh, future special projects that are coming up. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.